Okay, sup, we are back with more OEPL and I'm missing all the turns. Psychic Muji brought us Volksol. That, um, I think get us money brought us earlier. So does the unknown uh, throw a lot of whiz to burn the Sable I would synchronize from you? Sabra gets rid of the lefties. And Mew is either gonna go for a Volt Switch or Hard Switch out here. He goes for Roost. Don't really see the point in Roosting, but okay. That was hard Greninja though, so this reveals that he Scarf Greninja and he has Rock Slide. And Psychic Mew just stays in. And he U-turns oh, predicting the um, potential Duck Trio. Or oh, potential Toxapack, so... Then that was a risky play, so maybe he changed it to Charlie Berry? No, he no, it's still leftovers. But yeah, this time he's gonna probably switch into Duggy. And he goes for Rock Slide, so that was a risky play by Psychic Mew but it worked out. So if his Greninja doesn't get the flinch, he gets trapped, but it's off Quake, yup. So that sucks for Destiny Unknown. Dang, he played that Volcarona aggressive as Flip. Which is Agility Zapdos, but how is that breaking? I don't know if that can break through, it's probably Z-Move. We will see if it's Z Inferno Overdrive or if it's um, Z T-Bolt. He goes for Knockoff, we see it's Static Zapdos. Doesn't get rid of an item and it crits the Tangrowth. So this Volkstar is getting hexed today. Earlier the Pex got crit, now the Tangrowth got crit. Doubles out, scouting for the Z move. Uh, Sex is Volcarona. And eh, not his Volcarona. Pivots out his Volcarona. Sex is Pex. Hmm. So now he has to like. Okay, we finally live again. We finally live again. We rewatched all the turns. Now he has to like. Um, paralyze the Volk. And then he should win. Yeah, Vol Volcarona still wins this if it doesn't get hexed, I think. Like, he has rocks up, so Mamoswine's potential sash is broken. Tangrowth should die to plus one uh, flamethrower, or plus two. Yeah, Metagross also loses. Like, Zapdos is his only hope to, like, parrot a Volk, I think. Not really sure what he's thinking about here. Oh, well, I was kind of excited that the chat was going well for a second. Because sometimes the chat is dead on Discord, and then I didn't pay attention to Smog this, and of course I missed the first three turns again. But yeah, he's gonna go for the equivalence here. There's no point in hard flamethrowing, you can't ogre the Zapdos anyway. Yeah, okay, it's Chibol that's not discharged, my bad. But I just got revealed, I don't think he knew that it was that yet. But it makes a lot of sense that you want more damage output. So he has to rely on a 10% chance to paralyze this Volcarona, which is... Oh, he has to rely on a crit. Oh yeah, he still had Spedema after two equivalents because he had an agility up. Didn't think about that. Yeah, crit or paralyze is like his only win con at this point. <laughs> Yeah, he had no reason to equivalence again and risk Hex there. And now, yeah, Flamethrower, three, time, three more Flamethrowers will just win this game. Yeah, Giga Drain, like, Flamethrower was killed too, but Giga Drain gets some more health back, obviously. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Not the biggest fan of people bringing this team, but like, it works. Like, it, pro it might have won earlier too if, it didn't, if the packs didn't get crit. Not too sure. Man, if he... No, no, Flamethrower picks off the Metagross and then it picks off the Tangros. I don't know why he didn't have... why he didn't forfeit yet. So I get Muto takes the win for his team. I think last week he played Auras and he... I think he got some hacks in his favor last week, if I recall correctly. Um, don't remember if it was game deciding. I didn't record that game because I missed it live and I already had uploaded a few replays and I didn't want to upload more replays. But yeah, he wins versus Destiny Unknown and we will look at the score. Um, yeah, this is this team here. I can spoil the other games that I haven't recorded for you guys. Um, Hangover 1 versus Badge, uh, Shoka 1 versus PC if I recall correctly. Um, I think Rodri won versus Jacob, not 100% sure. So there should be three wins for the Tops on Noctiles. 
And Psychic Mutu 1 and Chrome 1 are uploaded that with GTM. So it should be 3 and 3 now. Oh yeah, I, mis I forgot to calc this game in. It's, it is um, 4 and 3 for the NJMP Ninjas with this Steve Angelo game calced in. If I didn't miscalc here. So Axel 10 vs Jace Days will decide the series. Um, I don't know if Axel 10 will get sapped out because he's uh, he lives in Spain. It's like um, 10 p.m. here. Like he's in the same time zone as me. So if he's not playing soon, I assume he will get subbed out. And Jay said play pre um made a nice aggressive double last week, so I'm looking forward to that game. I think Axel 10 is better than Auras, but he's still no joke, so that will be a cool game, but yeah. Uh, obviously the most hyped game is here. Uh, top Tibor is Ricardo and I see you with I don't know who plays next. I know this game is in like two hours and twenty minutes. I don't know if Gypsy will play soon. But yes, they changed for more OUPL content and today is, today is Sunday, right? Yeah, I will have some more of these up today and maybe we'll save one or two for tomorrow. And then I have BTB with a guest upload back tomorrow or on Tuesday. And I have other than that, I don't have any more uploads planned. I'll probably do a shot on live when the regular ladder is back when we get Mega Heracross. Uh, what else do we get? We get some new megas. I don't know if we get Heracross and Houndoom already. I always mix up which mega is out already and which one is not. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out.